Hello students, I am Ms. Neha Bhattal from the Department of Mathematics. I welcome you all in this session. In this session, we are going to see some basic concepts of probability as well as few examples on it. Now, what is the probability in simple words? Possibilities or occurrences, right? Or chances, we can also say that. Now, suppose whenever we are not assured of happening of any event or when we are uncertain of any of the occurrences, that's when your word probability comes up right so for example when we are talking about the weather by looking at the sky that is by making a judgment or with the observation right we can say whether it is going to be raining outside or whether it is going to be sunny outside that my friends your judgment and your observation is probability in your simple words now let's see the theoretical definition for probability that is probability can be defined as the ratio of the number of favorable outcomes to the total number of outcomes. The formula for calculating the probability is C, the ratio number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. This is your ratio. Whenever you calculate the ratio, the probability, remember this one thing that it will always lie between 0 to 1. Probability of any event will always lie between 0 to 1. Yes. Now, let us understand the basic concepts of probability with, with the help of a simple example. We all must have flipped a coin. Yes, whenever we flip the coin, we are not assured of what outcome it is going to be there, what result we will have on the top of that coin. Yes, but we know either it will be a head or it will be a tail, but we are not assured of that. So, whenever any procedure we are performing and it, it is turning out into some results, that procedure is known as your experiment. All right, so here when we are talking about experiment, flipping a coin is my experiment. Yes. Now, whenever we are flipping a coin, we know that it will always result in either a heads or a tails. So this heads and tails, these are your possible outcomes. Out of these two, no other outcome will appear on the coin. All right. So the number of possible outcomes total is your the result of an experiment. Now, the next is an event. Event as in, when out of all the outcomes that we have seen, that is the heads and tails, out of this, when we want any certain outcomes, when we are talking about getting only a heads, that is, we are talking about one certain outcomes. Here, this is defined as your event. Now, next is the sample space. What is a sample space? A sample space is the collection of set of all the possible outcomes of an experiment. Here, we have seen that H and T are our outcomes. Out of them, all them together written in one set comprises your sample space. When, they, when we write them together in one set, that is our sample space. I hope the basic concepts are clear with you all. So now let's move forward to an example based on it. The first example that we have is, what is the probability of getting a number greater than 3 when a dice is rolled? Now here, we are talking about the experiment when the dice is rolled. Yes. Rolling a dice, we know that there are six faces to it and out of them six faces, we know that there are six numbers onto it labeled on six faces, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Alright, so here my experiment is rolling a dice and my sample space would be all of these outcomes taken together. And now we have to find out the probability of getting a number which is greater than out of all these outcomes, we want to find out only that number which is greater than 3. So, whenever we define an event, we have to denote it, denote it by capital letters. So, here, let A be the event that a number greater than 3 is obtained. And the number of possible outcomes, the favorable outcomes we have is only 4, 5 and 6. These three would be the numbers which are greater than 3. So, the probability of obtaining a number greater than 3 would be if we substitute into the formula, the number of favorable outcomes that we have is 3 and divided by the total number of outcomes which is 6. Reducing it by 3, we get the answer as 1 by 2. So this is our probability for finding out the number greater than 3. I hope this is clear with you all. Thank you.